Hi, welcome back to 1903 Productions and a product review of the Optimate 4 Dual Program CAN Bus Edition. The channel for the latest in motorcycle news, views and tech reviews. So why have I bought the Optimate 4, particularly the CAN Bus Edition? Um, so essentially I've got a BMW GS, the 1250, and I've just bought a, a BMW R1250 RT. Uh, I already have the optimizer uh, charger on my Harley Davidson, which I sometimes put on the GS, but I wanted convenience of charge to just plug into the, the DIN socket on the BMWs. Now, the problem with that is, and I used to do it on my Triumph Tiger, no problem at all. I've got the DIN connector, you plugged it in, it happily charged the uh, the battery on the motorcycle. Unfortunately, on the BMWs, the um, the CAN bus is connected to the chargers and recognises if nothing's attached. So if the charger actually shuts down for a period of time, the BMW uh, ECU switches off that port. Uh, so when it wants to try and charge the battery or run a test again, it can't see the battery on the motorcycle um, so if you want to use the DIN ports on the BMW then you need to use one that a charger that's uh, designed for the CAN bus that will keep that CAN bus uh, signal open and keep the CAN bus working so that you can charge through it it also says a dual program and I think one of the issues with the CAN bus is one of the programs on this which I'll talk to in a little bit more detail doesn't work if you connect to the uh, through the DIN port. Um, you don't have to use a DIN port charger on a BMW. That's a bit of a myth. If you connect a lead directly to the battery, um, or use crocodile clips directly to the battery or the positive terminal and an earth, the 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 battery will charge. As normal as any other motorcycle it's only when you're using the DIN ports that you need the special canvas charger so if you already have a um, sort of an optimate charger and maybe it's not a canvas edition and as I said you can just fit you know one of these cables um, to your motors to the BMW and you can happily charge your motorcycle through one of these connectors it's only if you want to use the DIN connector that you need one that's a special CAN bus edition. So let's open this Optimate 4 up and see what you get inside. So inside the box we've got some instructions which I'll just run through in a moment. Um, we've got the charger. We've got a set of crocodile clips which will become clear why you'd get this as an option uh, for the, the dual program version um, you get your DIN connector so this is the like tiny cigarette lighter socket that you get on the BMWs so I also had one on my Triumph um, but there was no issues charging there if you just bought like this adapter on your normal Optimate but for the BMWs it's got to be the CAN bus edition and finally, it's the charger with the usual adapter you'll get on the, the Optimate 4. So, I'm just going to tell you why you get these crocodile clips. Well, I'll just run through uh, the two programs. I say this is called a dual program charger. And what it is, you have a separate um, program for whether it's a standard or direct connection charge. So, if you're direct connected, through this cable like this to the battery or if you took the battery off and used the crocodile clips that would be an option because I'll run through what the difference is as opposed to making the uh, the BMW connection. So program one is the CAN bus BMW uh, and ha that has eight steps to its charging cycles that it'll run through as opposed to program two which is connected directly to the battery has nine steps so which bits missing so on the program one for the bmw uh, step one is a can bus wake up pulse so that's where it wakes up the can bus 
and keeps that CAN bus open, which would otherwise, the, the ECU would shut that uh, port that you're connecting to down after the bike's been switched off after a few minutes. So we've got that CAN bus wake up, we've got a CAN bus low voltage check, so it's checking for a low voltage on the battery. We've got the test, um, we've got the, the pulse save, a control charge, a CAN bus optimize, so it's optimizing that battery, probably needs to keep that CAN bus open, and then a CAN bus test after it's fully charged the battery. And then you've got the 365 maintenance, which again, will probably have to keep that CAN bus awakened at the time. If you go into program two, which is if you just connected it to any other motorcycle or you took the motorcycle off, you can switch it to program two. So you, again, you've got the low volt start, you've got the pulse wake up, test before charge, and then you've got this save sulfated battery. Um, so that's not on the BMW program. Now, if you've got a battery that is sulfated and is, is completely dead ideally you'd want to take that battery off the vehicle anyway and use the crocodile clips um, to try and desulfate the battery you then get the pulse save charge controlled optimize test after charge and the 365 maintenance so it's that you know that sulfated battery that desulfate the battery um, program that you're missing when you're plugged into the bike so you're not going to need that you know that's when your battery is absolutely dead and you're probably want to get, going to want to take the battery off anyway so I'll just run through um, I'll plug this in and show you how to change the from program one the BMW program and program two if maybe you've took that battery off the vehicle so to change it from the BMW program one that it comes set with from the factory we hope that's what it says um, to switch it to program two what we need to do is take the charger now this was attached to your bike you disconnect it from your bike so you're not plugged in Let's extend this out a bit so I'm not plugging this in yet you take your crocodile clips, so this is why they're handy and in the box. You connect your crocodile clips to the charger. A stiff connection. So that's there, connected. Let's just disconnect two crocodile clips. And then to change the program, what you do is you connect the positive and negative crocodile clips together so you could close in the circuit so we're then going to plug in the charger and you should see um, lots of flashing lights so we've got one two three four five one two three four five one two and then we've got the green light on so this is now telling me that it's gone through the program change and we're now in the, like the normal battery operation, the non cam bus mode. So we're just in stand, standard mode now. To switch modes, again, you would disconnect the charger from the mains. So I'll just wait for this to go completely out. You would, again, reconnect your crocodile clips Join the crocodile clips together, plug the unit back into the wall, and we got the two flashes. Now you can see that we get a flashing in the center every so often, and a flash. The green light staying on. There's the flashing again. So that's the where it's keeping the CAN bus open. So we know we've turned this back into like the program one, the BMW CAN bus edition, and it's got that constant flashing that's going on. 
So we're all good now to plug this into the motorcycle and check how it's charging. So I've brought the Optimate out to my garage now. I've plugged in the DIN adapter. I plugged that into the little DIN adapter on the front of the RT. There is another one at the rear. I uh, thought it was at my GS behind me, that would be on the side. And I'm going to plug the Optimate in and just see what happens. And I suspect we'll see exactly what we saw so when we, when we just changed program before because the CAN bus, as I've not turned the bike on, will still be shut down. So I'll just plug it in. We've got the green lights on and the flashing lights and then back to green. Oh. Now it does say it's in maintenance mode. So I'm surprised it must have actually just plugged it into the bike Oh, then the lights are going on again now. Alright, so it's actually charging the bike and I haven't even switched it on. It's actually sent that signal and woken up the CAN bus on the motorcycle. Great. I'm just going to try switching the bike on, see if that makes any difference. Oh, that's the ignition. Make life a ride. Okay, so that's the, uh, the bike switched on. No difference at all to what's going on this charger, so that's great to know. It doesn't matter if you've um, not switched your bike on. I can switch it off now. Lock the handlebars. And there, we're on a, we're on a charge cycle now, using oh, actually the full one amps, I think, from judging this. It looks like 0.2 there. And then one amp at the top so we're in we're in full charge mode now which is great so i can leave this on the bike make sure i've got a fully charged battery for when i take this rt out for its first adventure so there's the bike gone into uh, alarm mode but we're still we're still charging here so i can happily leave this on the bike now so uh thanks for watching Call back again to 1903 Productions sometime soon.